Well, hello there. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. But something I've been looking forward to all year. And I'm finally on the Brazo Loop. Well, going to be on the Brazo Loop. Counterclockwise, lollipop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, so far, views are great. Road is hella boring, but that'll change pretty quick. Um, I'm not even, not even a kilometer in, so I've just started. Um, pack is a little bit heavier than I want it to be. Seven pounds of food, uh, basic gear. What's adding to it is the uh, zero degree sleeping bag because Apparently it's going to be cold on Jonas, Jonas shoulder. It says minus three, so I'll give it five degrees either way, just in case. Which is probably probably right. You never know out here. Let's have a look in here. About a kilometer from the trailhead. Horse pens, whatever you call them. Huh. Fire pit. And wood. If I can carry all this to the campsite. I know someone who can. I believe his name is JT. Has the old valley. Trees say don't go that way, so we go this way. Check this out for a sec. Nobody home. thermometer is broken nice nice but not one of the nicest locations for one of these Nigel Pass, 5.4 kilometers, Boulder Creek, 8.9, 4.12, that's where I'm going to stay tonight. First trail crossing, look like a highway this bridge, holy shit, impressive. Beauty. See, this is great. A sign and a little pathway for us navigationally challenged so we don't go up the horse route. I did get that right, did I not? Totally got it right. when you're solo, especially when you're solo. Mind you, 
this is a pretty well traveled trail so I don't, uh, don't know if there'll be much watch him poke his head around the corner you cold give me food well trail crew's been by which is nice cut back all these willows I remember some uh, seeing some previous videos not even too long ago where a lot of it was grown over which is nice especially on the way back if it rains and gets soaked good job trail crew Well, after a little walk in the meadows, oh shit. We're back into the forest again. Easy, easy trail. Pack feels good. Just settling in. Still a bit nervous, but we'll figure that out later. Or just deal with it. <laughs> and I hear a lot of water coming up here. Oh, and check this out. How pretty is that? And just like that, the trail opens up a lot. I mean, so I just passed some people on the trail. They were just coming back from Four Points. Said it's full. It's, uh, they did say there's a big group there that. Uh, didn't have a permit or anything and just uh, basically took up a lot of the spots so gonna be mighty pissed off if I'm gonna have to find a piece of grass to stay on but again it is what it is I guess I'll see you when I get there but that well, there's my first real look so we're gonna go that way up and over through that through the little boulder section there. Oh, well, I'm just walking along and I guess that's it. It's pretty uneventful for a pass. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more, but that's okay. First day. And no real river crossing either. That's awesome. Just realized the amount of people that I've count have encountered on the trail my fly was open the whole time how embarrassing look at this rock slide Millions of years, I guess it's all decayed and eroded. It all came from up there. And I wonder if anybody sat on top of that big rock at the top. I'm sure they have. It's 
all broken down. It's very cool. Looks like looks almost like petrified wood. Boulder Creek. That's fairly new. Awesome. So this trail, I feel like I'm on the touristy Kananaskis trail. That kind of thing, if you get me. So I think about only, I was less than 2K left. So, be there pretty shortly. Boulder, uh, didn't quite like Boulder. I don't think I'd like to stay there. I mean. So, lower your expectations, hey? So true. Managed to get site number six, which is nice and secluded in the back, away from the, uh, fire pits and picnic tables on that side bear lockers here i was surprised actually i thought it was a bear hang well that turned a bit messy had some breakfast coffee and back in the tent back in the sleeping bag warm up a bit. It's kind of chilly this morning, but I'm waited up a little bit. we got lots of time. Okay, well that's snow. <laughs> All right, day two, leaving Four Point to Brazo Lake. So here's the junction of whether or not you go clockwise or counterclockwise. So okay, so Brazo River. Need to go that way. Jonas cut off that way. We're going counterclockwise. Ah. Wet. So rummaging through my basement I found some waterproof pants that I used when I was a courier bike bicycle courier thought hey I'll bring them along just in case look at my pants
glad I brought them along. <laughs> Apparently, 20 years later, they're still waterproof. I, uh, well, we'll see. Look at that. Not touching that. Firewood stocked up. Place to tie the horses. Fire pit. This bench has seen better days, but imagine sitting here in the morning having your coffee. Nobody home. Well, once again, thank the trail crew for the work they've done. This is almost a new trail. We're at, uh, sorry, Four Point yesterday. Was mean to do the loop. Got all the way to Brazo Lake and realized they left their tent poles <laughs> at Four Point. So they did a day trip to uh, Jonah's Cutoff and came all the way back. It took them all day and the better part of the early evening. So. When I saw them, they were pretty gassed, which I can imagine. So they didn't get to do the loop. They just got up this morning and left right about the same time I did and uh, headed back to the trailhead. It's a shame, but it should happen. And now, as many have said before, when you get to this point, don't cross that bridge. You go that way. Now I'm not sure. They must have put a new sign up here. Otherwise, people wouldn't have been so, oh, someone's cutting a log too. Or the tree. Now that looks some dude with a sniper rifle. Okay, Parks Canada. I think uh, this trail needs to be renamed the section from Four Point to, well, we'll see how long it goes. 
I petitioned to rename it the Willow Trail. The Wet Willow Trail. Well, for the most part, from uh, Four Point onwards, it's, it's a forest walk, but once in a while it opens up, teases you with the view. Still, no place I'd rather be. That is awesome. And honestly, this is about the closest I want to get to the edge. Be a nice place to have a siesta right there too. And that piece looks like it's gonna drop right off. That was cracked right down. Just came across another nice young couple and they uh, came from Pabokton. Um, they did the route clockwise. They stayed at John John and uh, they said John John was kind of shit. So I won't stay at John John ever then. Uh, but they said there's snow on Pabokton. It snowed last night for them. It was a bit sketchy uh, coming down. Wow, that is a really screwed up bridge. Needs catch up. Definitely needs catch up. Well, there's a privy right there, so it looks like I'm in Brazil River Campground. Yeah. That would be it. On to Brazil Lake. Ah, oh, check out this one. Whoa. Awesome, look at that. That's us, 2K. Arret, arret, uh, stop, 10K.
Oh, look at that. Ingenious. The saw horses for the bridge. Just this one. Flying Trail Crew 2020. Brand new. So this is where I'm going to be heading towards on Monday. Jonas cut off. 16k. Perfect. Halfway is lunchtime. Oh, I can see it. Oh, wow. Brand new picnic tables too. Look at this. Awesome. Unbelievable. Look at all the work they've done. It's like days old fresh. Where is the book? Sweet. I will, I will do that one. Perfect. Oh yeah, not wet anymore. <laughs> I'm so excited, I don't even want to find my tent site yet. <laughs> Woo! Just stunning. Not around this corner. Give me something. There she is. Brazu Lake. Continues around the corner too. We'll check that out tomorrow. Holy. Oh, I can't get any better than this. Well, maybe. We'll see on Monday. Well, we are all set up. About to make dinner, relax, got a fire going, site two. Probably not uh, much videoing tonight, but I'm here for two days, sorry, one day. And the good thing for tonight is there is two tents here. The rest is just empty. Myself a good fire going, coffee, extra water, probably for another coffee. Had a nice, nice good sleep in today. So I'm here for the whole day, staying here tonight, and then moving on to Jonas Cutoff tomorrow. And, and, I am the only one here which is really surprising for for this campground. Uh, last night there was just four of us. Um, Eric, who stayed in the bivy sack way up, way up over there. Um, Will and Iris, they stayed over there in number three. And uh, who Will and Iris just left, and Eric left about seven, 
well, seven seven o'clock this morning. He's gonna do um, Brazo Lake to Four Point in one day, but he's gonna go to Jonah's Cutoff and run all the way around. Fucking <laughs> trail runners, man. Good for them, or him. But this morning he did leave a note, which is uh, interesting. Good morning crew, just a heads up, bear in area. Small little brown bear, grizzly, walked right up to my picnic table while I was eating breakfast. Its behavior seemed very juvenile, inquisitive mostly, not aggressive at all, but was worried that he was going to make off with my bag of food. Thankfully, did not. Best not to leave food unattended, even for a minute. Enjoy the remainder of your trips. It was great to meet you all, Eric, 7.40 a.m. So, I'll probably take this, put it in my bag, and do a trail report when I get back to Jasper. The other thing I want to show you in the daylight today is the trail crew. I mean, these guys just finished. Um, the logbook in there, or the register, which I'll sign later, said they were here last weekend. So, all this stuff is just fresh and new. Tons of firewood, so bring an axe. Um, I don't have one this time around, but I uh, found this log here that I'll buck up soon with my saw. And... Uh, keep this fire going so the bear doesn't want to come around hopefully we'll call him George or Georgina so George slash Georgina probably won't show up till I don't know dinner time I would think now but, uh, yeah good job trail crew and then uh, these the remnants of the old picnic table if these are your initials well, you're gonna get burned. Sorry. JT, Marty, Evan, I've learned my lesson. Oh, yeah. Glenn live a 12 year. No bourbon this time, guys. Some register box over there with this book in it. Welcome to Brazo Lake Campground. Use this log to document events of your trip, conditions of facilities, wildlife sightings, weather, etc. Please help keep this campground clean and pack out all garbage. Enjoy your stay and have a great trip. Jasper National Park staff, October 2015. And this makes for good reading. This person drew himself or herself taking a dump. <clears throat> okay, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a couple hours reading here. Check in with you later.
Whoops. Sorry guys. Come back. No. Oh. So, two groups rolled into camp, which is awesome. Um, one from Jonas Cutoff, the other from uh, Four Point. Yeah, just been a chill day. I've had my dinner already. It's only five o'clock. And uh, enjoying the view. From the tent. Well, goodbye, Brazil Lake. You've been awesome. Next stop, John John for lunch. And John is cut off. Still going strong. So, a bit of a summary. Last night, a uh, group of two came in. Um, Came in from four point like I did. And then a group of four came in from uh, Jonas Cutoff. So we all went our separate ways this morning. And I'll probably see the couple up at John John there. We'll probably stop for lunch. Uh, overall, good evening. I fell asleep around seven, which I didn't mean to do, which means I couldn't sleep for most of the night. But that's okay. I'm on vacation. And that's really about it. Brazo Lake is spectacular. But, uh, this trail, a little bit rough going at the moment, but we haven't come out of the trees yet. So much the same as the last couple days hike. This stuff. Shit. Literally. Shit. Man, this part makes me nervous. There's a bear right there. Hey, bear! Shit. Right on the trail eating berries. There he goes. Hey, bear! Fuck, I can't see him. There he goes, he's crossing the river. We're going towards the river. Okay, he's in the river. Oh, shit. Please go to the right. Just coming through. Shit, there he is. That's a big boy. Can't see him. Oh my god. 
Okay. Well, if that doesn't get me up this damn hill, I don't know what does. Holy. That goes to show. Man, I was yelling, hey, bear, every two minutes. The guy stood up and had a good look at me and turned his butt around and went across the river. <sighs> Beautiful animal. Here's a good look at where we came from, that valley. Tip of my trekking pole. And the trail comes down through the rock slide and up. Continues there. Go off to the right. After that, into John John. Well, we are at John John, and this one is really rustic. You can see why people are kind of uncomfortable staying here, right in the middle of grizzly habitat. It's a nice campground overall, really. I mean, it's just your an actual campground. No luxuries here except picnic tables. <sighs> Slow going. But man, look at this. I could camp up there, that would be awesome. But it's chilly, it's windy, and you're not allowed. <clears throat> yeah, came from all the way up there where that slope goes down. Alright, we're at a junction. Waterfalls, Brazo Lake, Jonas Cutoff, straight ahead. 200 meters. Rakuri Jonas.
day is it? Day five, about 7 a.m. Probably the best sleep I've had all the whole trip. cold last night. table. Coffee, breakfast, and get going. Day five. That's it. For Jonas cut off. And now heading all the way back to four point. Uh, where we had this uh, the first night before that we go up another pass Jonas Pass which should be beautiful as well neat so right off the bat it's a uh, 487 foot ascent I think this is where I put on a jacket so you gotta go up there around and where the two little points meet is where we're going Oh, it's windy. Look at this. And we aren't even at the pass yet. Wow. I've got to go zigzag. Zip, 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 zip. Woo. folks Woo! yeah holy shit holy shit huh. wow Jonas shoulder two four five zero meters God, look at this. Oh. I was expecting scenery, but not this. Shit. Wow.
There we go. Jonah's shoulder it is. And you can see where people have taken a million photos. Taken a million photos. I can't talk, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy this and then head my way down. Wow. Wow, what an experience. I wanted to stay up there longer, but it's it's pretty chilly up there. Even now, and what's it, September 1st? Anyone comes here late August onwards, make sure you bring a wind windproof jacket because you'll get chilled to the bone real fast. Oh man. Oh, I really don't want to leave. Look at that. Incredible. I'm glad I did this route counterclockwise because after seeing this uh, from the start, going over this pass and then down into trees and forest walk the whole way would have been kind of anticlimactic. Jonah's shoulder was, the hike up was pretty, it was difficult but not. I mean, it was short. It wasn't a long, long way. But uh, yeah, to end the hike on this, absolutely. lake down there, I'm not sure which one that is. And I tell you, despite this being a popular trail, this section of the Brazo really, really makes you feel like you're just completely alone in this open expanse like nobody if it weren't for this trail you would think that uh, you're in deep shit <laughs> I mean obviously people have had lunch there the way but it's kind of getting late to get to uh, Jonas cut off they're coming this way it's already after 12 so. oh shit dead carcass okay we need to move the hell out of here okay that goat had its neck ripped out but wasn't even eaten so Look pretty fresh to me. So whatever killed it, it's probably coming back. So get the hell out. Man. Amazing how, how many kilometers adrenaline pushes you in an instant. to see more people it's two groups I've passed now obviously warn them about that carcass this is pretty cool man they are heavy come to think of it I wonder how Will and Iris did on this uh, little journey if you're watching hello and did you make it to Boulder car four point I kind of wondered that. I think Eric just took his time and went all the way out. If Eric's watching, hello. What a great trip, eh? So from this particular point on the trail, I'm 8K from uh, Four Point again, and 17K from the trailhead. 
I'm gonna see how I feel when I get to four point and see if uh, just hike out the hike out today. I mean it's it's not even two o'clock right now. And making a good uh, making good time on this one because it's uh, pretty much gently sloping downhill. We'll see. See how the body feels, the leg, the knees. Just a valley walk the whole way back to Four Point. Pretty much a straight line. And everywhere you look. Oh man. Three and a half kilometers away from Four Point, it turns into a nice maintained trail again. Way in the trees now. Oh, weed whacker and a pitchfork. Hmm. Must not be done yet. Okay, well I'm coming up to four point now. It's only about a kilometer away. Um, I'm not gonna video the rest because that was at the beginning of this video from the parking lot to four point. So if you're still watching and still with me. Thank you so much. Uh, for sticking around and uh, hopefully I, hopefully this gets you guys out there too um, YouTube wise Marty up north chef Evan outdoors and how's the hike that's h o w e s I think yeah how's the hike check out them their their channels give them some love because those three in particular have actually inspired me to do this this uh, Brazil loop solo and I'm sure glad I did so thanks guys you three legends and thank everybody that's watching and peace out